It has been over four decades since Maryland football has seen early success like this. The Terps are undefeated through three weeks for yet another year. Now they're preparing for their first road game of the year, and it's a big one. WMAR 2 News' Sean Stebner explains from College Park tonight. Well, for the first time since 1978 through 1980, the Maryland Terrapins football team has started 3-0 in three consecutive seasons, but everything so far this year, just a tune up before things start to get real this weekend. Saturday brings game one of their Big Ten schedule when they travel to Michigan State. The Terrapins jump into conference play rolling, coming off that 42 to 14 blowout over former ACC rival Virginia. A perfect non-conference schedule, check. Time to put that in the past and start fresh when it matters more. It's really time to like turn up the notch. Like that we did really good in these non-conference games, but we know the conference games is the start of the journey. And to start the start of that journey, the Terps know they have to start faster. Maryland has fallen behind 14-0 in each of the past two games, only to rattle off 38 straight points in a win over Charlotte and 42 straight points beating UVA. Head coach Mike Loxley changing stuff up in practice this week, putting the number one offense against the number one defense, or good on good, team drills back in, something he hasn't had over the past couple of weeks. Us going back to getting the good on good periods back in our practice hopefully will give us the speed that we need uh, to be able to start fast and not have that adjustment period, I hope. I love going good on good. Um, you know, I feel like our defense is the best defense in the Big Ten, and they, um, they always give us good looks, and it's full, full speed reps. An unknown in this contest is how the Spartans will respond after Michigan State on Monday announced its plans to fire suspended head coach Mel Tucker. Tucker has been accused of sexually harassing an activist contracted by the university to provide sexual misconduct education to the school's football team, an allegation he denies. I would expect that they'll do a tremendous job of uh, coming together. Uh, we've seen that here in our program before when team comes together and they take on that us against the world mentality. And so we expect to, to get their best on, on Saturday. The Spartans are two and one. The Terps are looking to go to four and oh for the second time in three years when kickoff arrives Saturday at 3.30. In College Park, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.